what's up guys it's Zed and this is episode 11 of the FIFA 22 player career mode we're back with Conrad Zan and we are nine goals in nine matches with four assists we're fit no suspension and we are in excellent form we're still 17 I'm actually really curious as to when this guy's birthday is actually okay his birthday is October 25 as you guys can see down here so October 25 let's see if we're going to have a match on that date we almost do there's the match against Fulham and well <laughs> that was so cool if we do play that match it would be nice to score a goal for our birthday we're still on an 81 rating we're playing in the ls position for this match against aston villa this is going to be a really really tough task to win this match but let's just see if we can one man the focus of attention what sort of reception is he in for today as he returns to face his old club live on ea tv Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. Okay, so apparently, Danny Ings was actually in Burnley before, but now he's in Aston Villa. So I think that we're actually a suitable replacement for Danny Ings. Our match objectives are an 8.5 rating, 55% team possession rate, and avoiding, win, avoiding losing the match. Okay, so... We're just going to enhance this last one here. And this confrontation is underway. Here's how the lineup looks. For... Zan. Han. Tremendous ball played through. Well, what a stop that was. Boga It's with McTominay And he takes it on And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get Just cutting off the supply Well that effort was always going wide He's not going to be there. Westwood McNeil. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Weindahl. Well, possibilities in the center. Westwood. It's there for him. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Boga. Danny Ings! McNeil. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And the keeper more than equal to it. Yes, but he's also a really top-class professional. And that attitude will rub off on some of those players around him, that's for sure. And teammates to play it to. Bailey! And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Still passing it around with a foot. And he's in! goalkeeping well it's a top class save from a top class goalkeeper that's absolutely brilliant all right so i accidentally just clicked the request sub button and that's going to be the end of our match we just dropped off from 8.5 rating because we're on 8.6 just now and that's that sucks actually okay and we actually ended up being 1-1 so the good thing is that we we scored so we're still keeping our scoring streak going we got only one out of the three of the objectives i mean i really don't mind because at least we didn't lose the match so next up is the match against wolves in the afl cup and i'm really not interested in playing carabao cup matches so i'm just going to sim past them let's see if we do we do get a goal we actually get a hat trick in a sim match 
Whoa, that was actually really sick. I didn't know that could happen, and it actually did happen. So, wow. And we got all. Yeah, we filled that bar up. We filled that freaking bar up, man. Okay, so the crazy thing is that I actually kind of like this team. So, I'm not going to be requesting a transfer anytime soon unless a team actually wants to buy me on their own. And I. I don't know if that's possible with FIFA because I've never actually played a player career mode before. So let's just see if we're going to be able to get a transfer from a big club if we actually keep doing really well in this team. Our match objectives are to get a match rating of 8.5, take 4 shots on target and a dribble success rate of 50 and we're going to be enhancing that to 60%. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys after this match. Harry Wilson. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Wilson. Well, not on the target. The McNeil. Zan. Fruitful looking attack. Westwood. Must score. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that pass. Onguisa. Oh, a lovely ball. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. A chance now with the corner. And short it is. Onoma. Adarabayo. Not a great pass. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And there it is, a chance. And there it is! the breakthrough that will do nicely well as you can see Burnley haven't enjoyed the majority of possession but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas they've got forward with pace and with numbers it's been a great counter-attacking display well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so well, what can they do to stop him running at them credit to them for winning back possession Owen Weindahl. Zan. Oh, fancy footwork. In with a chance. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. Minute here. One minute and added time. Oh, he's given the ball away. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this Okay, game. so this is where I'm going to be ending the match because I have already smashed the um, match rating record. And we have two goals to our name already in this match. So... Uh, I mean, it's just one more shot before we are able to get all of the match objectives. So I'm just going to try and do that and then I'll request for a sub after I have done that. Christy. On the offensive. And he might be through here. In it goes. But it will not stand offside, Stuart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? Wilson. He said... They've regained possession. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Burnley facing Wolves. Takes the shot. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Knockhart. Can he finish? And throwing himself at the ball. All right, so that is it for me. We were able to get that last shot on target. It wasn't, it didn't enter into the post, but I mean, it was something. So we got a match rating of 10.0, two assists, 56 minutes played, scored two goals, and 
shot and um, four shots on target. This is actually what I want to be seeing from Conrad Zahn because the the like our match in uh, what's that team? SC Braga. Our matches in SC Braga were like completely irritating me every single time. Even the even the matches that we won, I was still irritated because the team was really, really bad. But we are in Burnley now and I actually like the team and I want to stay in the team because we are actually doing good for the team. That's what football should be about when you have a really, really good player like Conrad Zahn. He shouldn't be going to a team like SC Braga because that actually just dulled his uh, shine, to be honest. I mean, look at this. We have... 15 goals in 12 matches. We're still on four assists. That doesn't matter. We're a striker. We're supposed to be a right winger, but I'm actually going to stay a striker because, well, I'm like getting all the goals I need. All right, so we just leveled up to level 18, and I'm not sure if I should still keep if I should keep saving for this or if I should just try and get other stuff to get the passing up for now but i really think i should just do this because this will get my passing to 72 the short pass and the long pass is going to go to about 50. i mean that is still shit <laughs> that is still really shit but i mean it's something so i'm going to start with this and then i'm going to start working on the rest of them later on all right so we're away against wolves and are we going to keep our very good run of form against wolves and let's see what we're going to do if you guys do like this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys after this match is over okay this okay it's a sunny day so we should really really do well today uh we're supposed to get an 8.5 match rating score at least one goal from outside the box and have a dribble success rate of 50 percent which we're going to enhance to 60 percent is the big question The initial 11 for Wolves. I must say, this looks promising. Giving it a try. And the keeper was up to the task. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Could cross it in here. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And then the movement and finish just makes it look so easy. That's a really good goal. For this man, I think, Stuart, what are you expecting to see from him? Well, he's certainly on fire at the moment. He looks fit, he looks sharp, and he's full of confidence. He's just been too hot to handle. And I fully expect him to score again today. And He must finish! Well, diving magnificently to make sure... Well, they survived the attack. Goodmanson. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Can he take the chance? Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Has a go. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, I have to say, that's a good finish. He knew exactly what he wanted to do there. He's just passed it into the corner. That's a nice goal. The damage just cleared away in the nick of time. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. It has to be. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Can someone get on the end of this? He did his job defensively. Takes the shot. And the keeper showing tremendous command. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. Zan. 
Now, what can they do from here? The crossbar got in the way. It is a decent looking attack here, but nothing comes of it. All right, so this is the end of half time. Sorry, the end of the first half. And yeah, I'll be calling it a match for us because we have also scored two goals. We have gotten all three of the manager's objectives. Like we can't be better than this, to be honest. We actually, like, we actually can't be better than this. Yep. So we're going off here. now. Let's look at if we actually did get all the manager's objectives. Because to be honest, I can't remember what the third one was. Yeah, we ended up winning the match 2-0. They didn't score after I went off. So they actually did hold on to that lead well. And yeah, we actually did. Oh, okay, the, the third one was scored from distance and I did that. Yep. All right, so we actually are the top scorer in the Premier League with eight goals. And we are right on top of Raheem Sterling, Mane, Correa, and a lot of big names out there so i mean i mean we're, we actually are getting our name out there to be honest and of course we are number one on the headlines top draw displays from conrad zan and we aren't just having a very good month we actually crown it with the september player of the month award and <laughs> to be honest this is actually an honor to get this in the premier league and i actually hope that we actually get to the premier league record which i think is 30 32 goals i think I actually want to smash that. So we have gone to Poland to play against Poland. <laughs> and we're going to play this international match and we're going to like sim the second one. Because I, I really don't want to like spend all my time playing international matches because I mean we are we already established ourselves in, in Germany already. I don't think there's any match that the manager is not going to pick us in. And that is actually rather good if you ask me so i'll just play this match and i'll talk to you guys after it's over if i can get uh what i want before if i can get what i want before um half time then i will like request a sub of the match and we'll move on to the premier league you anticipate seeing from him well derek i thought he was brilliant last time out scored a couple oh, hang on Stuart, it's a chance oh brilliant goalkeeping Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Opportunity it is. Vital intervention. <laughs> now, how about the short corner? Oh, fine attempt, but denied by the bar. Well, he thought that was in, and I have to say, so did I. It was a really good effort. Lewandowski, well, it could be on for him here. He got a good palm on it. Kimmich. Zan. Good visualisation and execution. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Goretzka has it now. Kimmich. Teammate available. Will he finish? Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top class. Well read to ease the pressure. Being threaded by Lewandowski. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here we can see it again. And the passing and movement is a joy to watch. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, the stats confirm that Germany have had the lion's share of possession, but in terms of creating chances... Oh, he... hang on, Stuart, look at this! He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot. 
but it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. Linetti. Zielinski. Lewandowski just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Zielinski. Possession given away, unfortunately. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. A chance to extend the lead. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, no surprise there. The hosts have enjoyed most of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. And whipped into the box. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, just listen to this crowd. They want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here. Deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough to bet. Zielinski... Well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. He's in here. Could be. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper. And All right, so we're able to get the goal that gets our team to win. And well, I mean, that is just classic Conrad Dan, to be honest. And this is just his second season. And he, ha he has scored this many goals already. In the beginning of the second season which is actually really great i think we have scored way more goals than we had um when we're at dortmund so this is actually like a really really good player to be honest so we had just cracked that 10.0 match rating and that's what got us our the match rating objective because we were below we're like 0.4 below we we're 8.1 meanwhile the target was 8.5 and yeah we actually are a very, very good player, to be honest. And this is this has to be the end of the episode because I really wasn't expecting to play this match all the way to the end. So we will continue the uh, our journey at Burnley in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.